boys and girls. A couple months ago, we were talking about our daytime voice and our nighttime voice. I wonder if you remember what our daytime voice is called. If you know, go ahead and say it now. I hope you said that our daytime voice is called our loud voice. What does that word start with? L. It starts with L. How about our nighttime voice? What, what is the other name of that? Our quiet voice. And think about that. Qu quiet. What does that start with? It starts with a Q. Q U I E T. So we have our loud voice and our quiet voice. Let's sing Frosty Weather with the voice that I have listed next to the beats. Ready and here we sing Frosty Weather, Snowy Weather. When the wind blows, we all get together. You know, there's an actual music name for each of those voices. Instead of saying loud, we can call it our forte voice. Everyone say forte. I wonder what that starts with. Forte. It starts with the letter F. F-O-R-T-E. Forte. And for our quiet voice, we can call it our piano voice. That starts with P. But you know what, boys and girls? In music class, we don't write the whole letter or the whole word. We just write the first letter. So forte will mean loud, and piano will mean quiet. Forte, F, piano, P. Forte, piano. Let's try it. Make sure you're not screaming when using your forte voice. Ready until we sing frosty weather, snowy weather. When the wind blows, we all get together. All right. This time, I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. Let's make this start with piano. Which letter should I use for piano? I hope you said P. What letter should we use for forte? F. Oh, let's do one more forte and one more piano. Good luck. This time I'm not helping you at all. You're on your own. One, two, I hope we ended at the same time because that would mean you were keeping the same beat that I was keeping. You know what, boys and girls? I have a brand new song for you today, and it has a very fun game. Let's listen. I bet you've heard it before. I've never taught it to you, but there's this, there's something that's telling me you may have heard it before. Lulu, lulu, lulu. heard it? If you think you know what song it is, say it out loud. This song is called London Bridge. Let's listen and keep the beat on our laps. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Let's tap our head. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Last time, our notes. Ready, go. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. 
This is a very fun game. So let's listen really carefully to make sure you understand how to play it, and then we'll play. Uh, this requires everybody to get in the line, but don't move until I'm done explaining. The teacher will choose two kids to be the bridge. And those kids will stand side by side over on the small carpet. And they will hold one hand up in the air with the other child's hand. So you should be making a little bridge with your hands, holding hands up top. Everybody else is going to line up to go under the bridge. As soon as the kids go under the bridge, your arm that you're holding up, the kids will go around the bridge, back to the end of the line, and get ready to go under the bridge again. Now, while you're singing the song, the bridge will be listening very carefully. And as soon as the bridge hears, my fair lady, they will drop their hands, still holding hands, but they'll go from holding up top to down low. And whoever was about to go under the bridge next is out. And when someone gets out, they come and they sit on the side of the carpet, and you become the chorus. Anyone that gets out, it's your job to make sure that the song keeps going. So use your beautiful singing voices while everyone else is still going under the bridge. And then when there's only one kid left, that's the kid who won. All right, I hope you have fun. Make sure you're listening to your teacher. I'll see you when you're done. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. I hope you had fun playing London Bridge. I can't wait to hear what you think of that game when I see you next week. We're going to move on to Engine Engine number nine. Please get your pointer fingers ready and follow along. One, two, three, go. Engine, engine, number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? Boys and girls, which voice was I using? Was I using a rabbit voice or a turtle voice? Which one do you think? I was using my rabbit voice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stand up and you're going to move to the song like a rabbit, like this. Engine, engine, number nine, going down Chicago line. Ready? One, two, one, two, ready, go. Engine, engine, number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? All right, boys and girls, hurry back to your seats and get your pointer fingers ready because we're going to do it a little differently this time. One, two, ready, go. Engine, engine, number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money? Yeah. Was I using a rabbit voice or a turtle voice? I hope you said turtle voice because this time we get to move like a turtle. Everyone get ready to move like a turtle. Ready and here we go. Engine, engine number nine. Going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, will I get my money back? All right, boys and girls, head back to your seats because I have something extra fun for us to do today. The last activity we're going to do, I actually have a coloring page for you with our turtle and our rabbit. So make sure you're doing your best to color on the, between the lines. Make sure you are staying quiet while you're listening to some music and coloring. Hope you had fun. See ya.